Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Father, we thank you. Baba, I do bear. Continue to lay your hands upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Kito, listen to me carefully. Because the prayers we're going to start now. We're going to continue next palm of strangers. This is why you must listen carefully. The prayer is called 40 dreams. Allow Goji 40 prayers. 40 dreams. Allow Goji 40 prayers. I will now go on and make some explanations. The topic is the voice of your foundation. According to your Lord, no, the only equilibrate and your dreams. Ati amwa la le. The voice of your foundation. Only equilibrate and your dreams. Ati amwa la le. This will now lead us. Ile ni o amu a wano to the forty dreams. Amwa la ugoji. 40 prayers. Listen very carefully to what I'm going to say. You know, to, also, to lay a foundation for, for the prayers we're praying. There is a lamentation in the book of Psalm. Many don't read it properly. <laughs> to, understand, to understand what this means. In Psalm 11, Psalm 11. Let's look at it from verse 1. Psalm 11, verse 1. A lamentation from the psalmist. It was like this, as if there was a conversation between the psalmist and the enemy. That they were conversing. Sammy says, Indeed, O Lord, do time my trust. So then, why are you saying to my soul, Flee as a bird to your mountain? So why are you threatening me? God, I put my trust. Say, for lo. The wicked bend their bow. They make their arrow upon the string. What if he offers so then the privilege shoot at the upright in heart. They are fighting the righteous. Now says in verse 3. Hmm. If the foundations be destroyed. What can the righteous do? If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So, well, if the foundation is destroyed, means the righteous has a lot of things to contend with. We're not talking about sinners now. Those ones are ready meat for. The enemy. History it on repeats itself. It always does. Because no one listens to history. Experience and history teach, but people and governments never learn anything from history. Most times they don't act on the principles deduced from history. When you begin to study history of man, history of tribulation, history of problems, or you are one of us who when you are interested in solution evangelism. 
Ojutu, you will learn some very deep lessons about the troubles of man. I want to pick just an example. There are plenty of examples. Let me pick just one. Moses. Moses. Moses led a fascinating and mysterious life. Moses lived a distinguishing life an unparalleled life Moses was the prince of Egypt he was the giver of the law Moses was God's faithful servant the Bible says Moses was more humble than anybody on the surface of the earth. The Bible says Moses spoke to God face to face. Many of us are dreamers and uh, guessers, but he spoke to God face to face. People have expected that a fellow who spoke to God face to face, why should his foundation fight him? Moses communicated God's words to the people. He was a spokesman for God. For then he was at the same time a psalmist. Like Psalm 90 was Moses that wrote it. Moses was an historian. Was a prophet like no other prophet. The Bible says there was no prophet like Moses that God spoke to face to face. A strange man. A mysterious man. A controversial man. But a man who lived an unparalleled life. He was the child of a slave. But at the same time, the son of a queen, Moses, he was born in a hut. But he lived in the palace. As I say, a strange man. By birth, he inherited poverty. But he enjoyed unlimited wealth in the palace of the king. He was the leader of armies. But also the keeper of flocks. He was a mighty warrior, also a very meek man. He was highly educated. He was educated in the court and dwell in the desert. He had all the wisdom of Egypt, but he had the faith of a child. He was a man who was fitted for the city but wandering about in the wilderness. He was very backward in speech. He, he stuttered. There was a stammerer. But he talked with God. He had the rod of the shepherd and the power of the infinite God in his hands. He was the giver of law and the forerunner of the grace. I'm trying to describe Moses to you now. He died alone on Mount Moab. But the same person appeared with Christ later in the New Testament. No man assisted at the funeral of Moses. It was God that buried him. But in spite of all these qualifications, there was a voice, a voice contending with him. 
fighting him a voice pushing him fighting him tempting him fighting him fighting him and those voices come who we'll dodge it you come again Moses will dodge it you come again Moses will dodge it but eventually they cut up with him in Psalm 106 verse 32 106 verse 32 several times they provoke this man in the wilderness he dodges it he dodges it but then one day did not dodge and that was it Psalm 106 verse 32 they him also at the waters of strife so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes it went ill for Moses that is exactly what the voice wanted the voice of his foundation wanted it to be ill with him because they provoke his spirit so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips the voices of Moses foundation eventually cut off the ancestors of Moses have very bad temper that bad temper has now cut off with him Moses was born under the sentence of death so go and drown all the all the males in the in the river. The father and mother of Moses, Amram and Jochebed, they gave secret cover for him for three months. And it's difficult to keep a a baby for three months without letting anybody know there's a baby in the house. Those voices of deception, voices of death that have been hanging over Moses from his foundation. The name Moses was not a name given by God. It was given by the daughter of Pharaoh. So may I ask you who gave you your own name that you are bearing now? Many are bearing the names given by their enemies. It was the daughter of Pharaoh who named Moses. It means the name Moses means drawn out of the waters. Moses it must be So meaning that from the beginning of the life of Moses, he had been placed under the canopy of marine powers. What if it's Atibaba? Now was there fighting their own battle. Moses now grew up in the palace of Pharaoh. Moses to Pharaoh. The palace of Pharaoh was the center of Egyptian demons. And the Bible says in Acts 7 22 that Moses was learning in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. He learned all the wisdom of the Egyptians. How do you say what is the wisdom of the Egyptians? Incisions. Mummies. To preserve the, the body as the is architecture, obelix, that thing that they put that has a tall point to the end, embalming the dead, astronomy, engineering. Pyramids. Magic. Those were the wisdom of Egypt. 
wisdom of Egypt. Egypt. So Moses eventually lived for 120 years. 40 years was in the palace of Pharaoh. 40 years he was in median backside of the desert and 40 years it was a deliverer of the people of Israel from Egyptian bondage he wanted to be somebody God taught him that he was nobody. God eventually made him somebody. And so the anger of Moses was serious. Through that anger, he killed that Egyptian. Through the anger, he smashed the first ten commandments tablet that God gave to him. He smashed it. I don't know whether God forgive him for doing that. When the children of Israel were worshipping idols, Moses ground the idol to powder and he made them to drink it. No wonder when Moses died, Satan demanded for him. Satan is This one belongs to us. But God said no. So that's powerful man Moses was susceptible to the voice of his foundation. I'm praying for somebody here. Any voice speaking from your foundation, talking failure, talking death, talking disgrace, talking embarrassment, by your tenfold amen, I silence them in the name of Jesus. of your foundation can hire a lawyer against you in the spirit realm. The voice of your foundation can move you from grace to grass. The voice of your foundation can be the key to destiny abortion. The voice of your foundation is actually the fountain from which demons are drinking water. It attracts demons to your life. The voice of your foundation is strong enough to defeat the champion in you. The voice of your foundation can be the grave of your destiny. That voice is the rope that pulls champions down. The power that pulls down shining stars. The invitation to disgrace a star comes from that voice. It can rewire your brain to failure. You say you have spirit husband, spirit wife, it can empower them. It can bury multiple talents. It disconnects a man from the voice of heaven. It programs destiny impotence. It punctures the virtue balloons and talent balloon of people. The voice of the foundation can turn winners to executive losers. And put cancer in many souls because of the way we live our lives running up and down all over the place because of that God runs a school in the middle of the night 
the purpose, the purpose of that school is in Job chapter 33. God runs a school in the middle of the night. I find a school in Job chapter 33. Verse 15. Job 33, 15. God runs a school in the middle of the night. Let's see what his school is all about. Let's speak it from verse 15. In a dream. Or yes. let's speak it from 14. For God speak at once. Yet twice. Yet man passes by it not. So in a dream. In a vision of the night. When deep sleep falleth upon men. Is stumbling upon the bed. Then he opened the ears of men and select their instructions. Why? That he may withdraw man from his purpose. And I pray for man. He keep it back his soul from the pit. And his life by perishing by the soul. This is talking about the mystery of dreams. God in his infinite mercy has designed to instruct men through their dreams. And like I've been saying before, your dream life is your spiritual monitor. Good dreams always end well. Bad dreams do not end well. There are 40 indicator dreams for those troubled by their foundation or for those the voices from their foundation kept harassing and tormenting. Wonder. Sing corpses. Reading coffins. Attending funeral services. And you are still a young person. There's a voice calling you from the grave. Calling you from the grave. I'm praying for anyone here. That if there are voices from the grave, someone you. I silence them in the name of Jesus. Let that man rule like thunder. Two. Is been handcuffed or chained. Do you want to shake a shake a money or no war? I've been one day your money. It means your hands are just there physically, they've been tied in the spirit realm. There are curses on your handwork. What must it be? I want to go and bell us on you. What did they money and you know me? I want a gum bet on Jaisha Ward. Three. Marriage to unknown persons. You are supposed to know the person you are marrying. In the spirit realm, you find yourself in a wedding ceremony and you have no clue Shuma, where the partner is from. I'm praying for anyone here like this. That you dreamt you are marrying a strange man or a strange woman. I divorce you from that marriage in the name of Jesus. Hey, louder, amen. Four. Walking barefootedly. If yes, like what When the animals remove your shoes in the spirit, it's a foundation dream. I like the five. Wearing torn dresses. We wore a wutoti ya. Six. Air remover. Kiwama fire in your. Don't find air on the head anymore. Oh, why do you know? You have air physically, but but spiritually, you are bored. 
nipa titara onirun lori sugbon ninu emi apari ni o sabu ikeje see yourself naked riri are ni ni owo means disgrace and insecurity o tumo si esin ati ai ni ari dajo ojo ola eight ikejo unknown persons beating you up ki awon eni to mo ri ma lu o na ikesan gun shots and bullets and arrows ki won ma yin bon si yan abi ko won ata eni olofa fire against you say foundation drip i like you lady ten ikewa been beaten by animals ki eran ko ko ma punition foundation drip i like you lady eleven because kola unable to cross a river I lay so down do you know you needed to cross to that other side o mo ko ye ko so da si da ke odikeji you are not able to do so to go ori so da foundation drip i like we lady 12 ikeji la going back to former school former house all those places of past before you just find yourself going back going back going back there we pada si ile eko to ti lo ni gba kekere abi ile to ti pe ni gba to wa ni gba kon ri e go pa la to ba ndi ko n pada si bi to ti de tele ri I like to tell you there are dreams of retrogression I want Allah if I say it the enemy is trying to return you backwards or to fade down pada ko so de ro egini if you are here now to ban be ni bi ba you are listening to many well I don't tell you God and you have been having the dreams of going back to the houses where you were when you were you see la la ko ri la ko pada si le te ti pe ni to wa ramari school o pada si le ko ala ko be to lo back to the apprentice place you left pada si bi to ti ko se owo rise to your feet ti dey do by e and with anger boiling in your soul when you be no to run ninu okan re even if you don't think you have that dream o ba ti ele ro ko o ti e la ru ala be with anger boiling in your soul when you be no to run ninu okan re can you pray this prayer why these angels are around ba adura yi bi awon angel yi se yi want to see pass e ya gara assigned to return me to square one you want to tell them the father says i don't in the name of jesus you are jesus Fourteen. 15 e kan odi ni ogun finding yourself in court as you accused be pare ni 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 ejo gege bi enu tun won besun kan 16 e kan odi logun nansin a strange baby ti to abi bi boju to omo ajeji breast feeding a strange baby de yo ma fun omo ajeji lo mu mu drinking the milk of your life o mu wa ra ye re ni 17 Keta di logo loss of shoes. Ki ba te ni o da wa ti o sandals. I ba je salu bata i ba se bata. Which transmits to marital distress. Yes, it too much see our work ni ni gbe yawo. Etin. Ikeji di logo loss of stealing of keys. Pe padanu abi ki won ti kokoro mo ni o lowo. Foundation dream. I like the lady. 19 is attacked by dogs. <laughs> kokon di logo igbogun la todo won aja the foundation dream i like we lady 20 sin tortoises and snails ogun ni de yo ma ri japa tortoises snakes ala ba hun they all mean slow progress and when they you want to know see it is what you do constellation is strong consola 21 the kokon le logo swimming swimming in the waters liluwe ninu mi when physically you can't even swim it is 
foundation dream. I like we Same mass crates. Did you have go go? Those means ascension sweet and witchcraft powers. I will need to must see a bad idea at a way, me or do you know? Twenty two. Get you the logo. That those are foundational dreams. Allah, you will anyone really, really foundational dreams. Allah, you will anyone. I'm praying for somebody here today. Any masquerade that has ever appeared to you, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. 23. Begging for food or begging for hands. 24. Bleeding. Bleeding. That is loss of virtue and slow death. 25 is cobwebs. Which is an agenda to make a person stale. 26. Bogos, earrings. Enjoyers, meaning slavery and domination. We were here in Tito Big Bang, but at the time we showed up, it let us see Jack Abale in glory at his zero. Twenty-seven. He got a development. Serving others and engaging in hard labor. Since he and we no matter at his she 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 kala. Yourself working, working, just serving, serving, cooking, serving people, just being there. It's like it's just like a spiritual slave. Ori da le kon she 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 un si and we no matter un touch you and we no matter. Twenty-eight is sexual harassment in the dream. Sometimes waking up with pains and with semen all over the body. Twenty-nine. Getting out of body. Getting out of body and seeing your body on the floor. Umawari and the bed. So dreams. I like the lady. Thirty. Okay. The woman being violated by male and female personality. Ki openi kuri la lepi da kanto je tokoni to peni lo fi papa onshiko. Thirty one is looking in the mirror and seeing another face, not yours. Eka kule ni oboni we wo dingi ko si mari o tu mena. That too is you find yourself in a different family setup, different from the one you have physically here. You could see another husband, another children, another accommodation, different setting entirely. It means you are actually living a double life. You need to cancel that life in the spirit. And the when you see parts of the body missing, thirty-four is falling into labor and delivering non-human material. Thirty-five is marriage or wedding with mother or father. That is, this is sex with father or mother, which is ancestral spirit spouse. Thirty-seven is fighting creatures. That you beat and beat and beat and they refuse to die. That's it. It's being installed as a king or a queen in an unknown place. That's not. It's being pursued by headless creatures. Headless scripture in the dream means senselessly destructive enemies. Forty is seen pepper 
pepe redol pepe redol pepe redol ogoji ni ke eniyan ma ri ata epokupa ata epokupa this translates to extreme wickedness against you ile itumo si iwa eka to le ke nka lo de si atless wickedness against you awon eka ti ko la nu wickedness targeted against your life iwa eka ti won doju re pa ye niyan this are the 40 dreams indicating that you do have a foundational voice to silence wo yi ni awon ala ogoji to nfi won pe o mu kon be ninu ipile re to podo pale nu mo this is why we need the program e bi idini e ta fi nilu eto what dreams ogoji ala 40 prayers ogoji adura each of these dreams that i've just mentioned oko kon ni na won ala ti mo so yi it will take us one hour yo pa wa ni pa ati kon thoroughly explain the implication of each one lati shalaye atun bo ton oko kon won lekun re re the kind that kind of time luxury we don't have at this program ti gbon ru akoko be o si fun wa nu pade yi and the purpose of explanation is for you to understand how to fight idi alaye isi ni ko ba le mo bo se ja he is a useless soldier who has a gun and is asking why is the enemy why is the enemy does even know where to shoot or who to shoot omo ogun radara da ni omo ogun na to pe ibo da ni to se wa nbere pe otada otada ko me ni to ibo si ko si mo bi to wa the purpose of this teaching is to expose the enemy e ko yi wa lati fi oju ota ran wa so that you can fire a direct arrow ta ba le ta o fa si ta ara sharp shooting arrow ta ta o fa ta mata si si before you can participate in this kind of prayer ko to le ba ilu adura yi ni to surrender your life to jesus o ni lo lati fa ye re fun jesus you need to become a friend of god o ni lo lati di ore pelu olorun from all your known sins o ni lati lo nu ko ada ku o nu gbogbo ese re to mo you be part of the winning team ko ba le wa lara awon eko ti o bori you have an opportunity today afa ni nbe fun won loni to deal with this thorn lati doju ko oro yi pata pata then we continue next time a wa tesi wa ju lojo mi right there where you are ibi to wa yen why all eyes are closed that you go what it did you you said pastor o ba ni olusu agutan i had what to say o gbo nte wi o i want to be delivered o fe bo i want to surrender my life to jesus itori na o fe faye mi fun je wherever you are ibi o wu to ba wa just get up on your seat ile kuro ni bi to joko si find a way to me at the altar here o si ma po lodo mi ni waju pepe we shall wait for you at the altar here how do you do ni waju pepe find your way here very very quickly ni kya kya if you are coming take your bag along if you have a bag oba tin bo to ba gbe ifa lo wa gbe ifa lo re daniel find a way to this altar very very quickly jesus is waiting for you here jesus draw the odi this is not a day to negotiate o ni ki sojo iduna dura not a day to play with the enemy e sojo ta ma ba o ta se this is a day of victory and power ojo isegun ati agbara lo ni for you to access that power and that victory mo go ba le ni agbara ati isegun yen you need to surrender your life to jesus o ni lo lati faye re fun Find a way to this altar. Very good. Don't even bother. Do I do my best? Yeah, yeah. God bless us to do so. Lord, you go for the body in shepherds. Oh, to Jesus. Connected to this program anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Need to so for my body. Need to be bobo. Right there where you are. Need to be there where I am. I dig. Decree by the decree of heaven. That any power that does not want your story to change to glory. All those powers holding anybody's glory captive. All those powers that are sent over their dead bodies will you move? All these strange insects, strange serpent. All your honor stolen by the enemy. Bad tools that are inside the body to keep you from moving forward. All the program of the elders of darkness that are frustrating anybody here. In the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I command those powers to die. 
In the name of Jesus, I command them to die. In the name of Jesus, it is written that we walk in the flesh. We do not walk after the flesh. But the weapons of our warfare are not coming. But they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination and every eye thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God. Every stronghold I sign against your star. I pull them down in the name of Jesus. I put them down. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice. Any you don't me. They have transferred your glory. They have transferred your virtue. Some are using your virtue as your glory. Where you are without them. Right there where you are. Possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Possess it. 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 In the name of Jesus. That are the multiplying themselves against you. I scatter them in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This next prayer needs a sevenfold hell shaking amen. Powers! Assigned to wear on you the garment of mockery. I kill them now in the name of Jesus. I kill them now in the name of Jesus. 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 Going to pray the second prayer. A giant sevenfold amen is necessary. Powers assigned to pursue you away from your place of comfort. I scatter them in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray a third prayer. I want your amen, sevenfold amen, to be the loudest. Powers assigned to make you beg from where you should not beg. I kill them now in the name of Jesus. Masika pola kaya boshenda raba, riba sopanda kaya boshenda raba kola basanda. Finally, lakoto. As I pray this next prayer, you want to bad rap? Don't you? Let your tenfold amen be stronger than any other other person. And immediately you shout the tenth. Amen. This resurrection power, the volcanic power of the Holy Ghost will fall upon you. To bring answer to that, that prayer. Oh God, arise. Lord, let your enemies in our bodies. Oh God. God arise. Oh Lord, let all your enemies in our bodies scatter in the name of Jesus. It's happening. It's happening. That's the power of God. Just at the altar. 
I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. But your head. So what I'm going to say now, Father. So Father. Baba. In the name of Jesus, I come before you now, Lord Jesus. Come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children. Who have surrendered their life to Jesus today. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you have the counselors who discuss with you. I will tell you what to do. Dress of us, let's bow down our heads. And speak to the Lord like this. Say, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Every prayer you have prayed on that picture, I command the prayers to become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying for those. Oh, a celebration the birthday this month. I decree that I shall be well with them. By this time next year, Jesus tarries in his coming. There will be a big bundle of testimonies. In the name of Jesus. All the prayer requests that your children are brought here. Let those prayer requests also become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Rise to your feet now. Time to start prayers. The prayers are not ordinary prayers. And we don't have too much time to pray them. But I have confidence in Jehovah. That as many as who pray this prayer, their stories must change to glory. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Stretch it towards this altar. Masi katenda le kaya. Ribose ni katenda. Father, I stand against every infirmity gathered here or anywhere you're hearing my voice. I stand against spirit of paralysis. I stand against the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. I stand against every form of pain. I stand against every wish cast sponsored infirmity. I stand against them by the power and the blood of Jesus. And I bind and I cast them out in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Everything you could not do before, receive power to do them now in the name of Jesus. Let his hands become the hands of healing, the hands of deliverance and power in the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in your body, smite you with your hand 21 fold. Don't bother whether the place is painful. Smite it. Don't even bother whether there is a wound there. Smite it. It must go back to the ascendants. As you smite it, shout, Blood of Jesus. Let's go. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen.
begin to check your body now. Put your faith into action. Do what you could not do before you got here. I see a woman being healed from a long time in pharmacy. I see the serpent in the womb crawling out. I see the power of God falling upon one brother over there and the agenda of which come for your health has disappeared check your body very well do what you could not do before yes you have been healed once you notice that you have been healed and the sickness has disappeared don't let the devil put it back run quickly to this altar here run to the altar don't allow the enemy to put it back see what is happening over there somebody has been healed on the gallery something that has traveled your journey with you for years has just been shaken out check the migraine check the neck pain check the lumps in the breast check the swollen, swollen part of your womb check it very very well it's gone find a way quickly to this altar don't let the devil put it back thank you Jesus thank you Jesus this prayer is beloved yes find a way to the altar don't be afraid it's gone you are, you are surprised don't be surprised Jesus has taken over find a way to the altar this prayer they are to be stirred with acidic violence. They are pressed to address wickedness. They are pressed to address the enemy that does not want you to have peace. They are pressed to address plantations of darkness. They are pressed to put the enemies to shame. I want to beg you. Even if it's only a few of these prayers are going to pray. I want you to pray the way you've never prayed before. Let your voice be the loudest as you shout to the heavens. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Provoking secret tears in my life. Don't show to fire quick or call me. Can you say it with only anger? Your voice is not angry enough. Oh, no. Your time is up. Oh, okay. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus name we pray Powers Turning my seat of glory Into the seat of battle Can you shout it loud Your voice is not loud enough what are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Covenant of wicked elders. That stole my glory. Your voice is not loud enough. Pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Powers. Turn him into serpents. To poison my life. Can you shout it loud? Catch fire! In the 
the name of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God, arise. By the thunder of your power. Can you say this loud? Disgrace my disgrace. Don't you teach it to in the name of Jesus? Yes. Jesus' name we pray. Let your voice be the loudest here and let the angels hear. Know that you are serious. By your name, Jah. Can you shout it loud? My way. Oh, no, me. Then we pray. This prayer should be done in boiling anger. If you are not going to get angry, don't even bother to pray. Powers that have sold me before I was born. Can you say it with boiling anger? Before I leave this place, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, just a sound for the man. Let's let's rest of it now. And grip your head with your two hands. And shout out loud like this. The louder you shout it, the faster. Blind Bartimaeus did not say his prayers. He cried his prayers. Okay, My head. Jesus name we pray Lay your hand on your chest now Shout this loud My blood My blood My blood Receive the blood of Jesus Kill every infant Jesus name we pray the Bible talks about pestilence that walk it in the noonday an example is infirmity flying all over the world now 
We are going to raise our voices like fire and like thunder. Every flying infirmity. We are not your candidates. Scatter. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, Say thank you, Jesus. We we'll continue our 40 dreams, 40 prayers. Next power must change us. But the ones we've done today has brought on common testimonies which have manifested which is manifesting and which will manifest thank you